Hi, my name is Eddie and we're here at Web Summit. Let me show you a summary of how our week has been. If you enjoy learning more about tech and the tech conferences and tech hackathons that I go to and interested in diversity and inclusion in tech, don't forget to subscribe below and click the bell button to get notifications when we launch new videos. We'll see you soon. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Vanessa has asked about Dashboard Hub and she raised some really good questions so I'm going to let her talk. I'm the non-techie in between the client and my developers and one of my biggest problems is knowing where to find the latest version of the app that I'm going to present today. Uh, so yeah, I was very, uh, very intrigued when you said that this is the software I need to use. Um, yeah, at the moment there's a lot of conversation, sometimes on Skype, sometimes we do have a tracking software. but. A lot of the time there's a lot of discussion to say, where do I need to go, what is in this release, um, who's responsible for it, so yeah. Perfect. <laughs> We're here at Microsoft at Web Summit and uh, Microsoft have a lovely stand and the team have been really good with a lot of AI examples. And uh, I'm here with Dean from the Developer Advocacy That's correct. That's correct, uh, team and I've heard so much about their open source uh, work and lots of uh, great initiatives that they do. And I'll let Dean talk more about it. Yeah, so uh, the Cloud Developer Advocacy team at Microsoft is really just about engineers having conversations with engineers to understand like what their kind of needs are, what their requirements are, and ultimately using that to make Microsoft's products and open source projects that we work on and contribute to better as an experience for our developers, really. So we work within the engineering team within Azure. So we have direct contact with the engineering and product teams that build the Azure services and other services like VS Code and all that nice stuff that I know you that I know you love. And um, so it gives us a direct path to give that feedback back from the developers that we go and meet out in the community at wonderful events like this around like what's working for our products, what isn't working for our products, how we can basically improve the lives of developers uh, generally when using Microsoft technology. Well, that sounds really, really good. And your team also do stuff like, um, ten I went to one of your events at Monzo, which had um, Azim and Simona do we're talking about TensorFlow, JS, and they're really getting involved in other projects that are outside Microsoft as well. Yeah, exactly. So we, we're not just focused solely on Microsoft products in this team. We're really focused on just developers and the technical community. So you'll find us all over the globe. There's a, we can provide a link it's in the video. There's a whole team of developer advocates around the world that are working with developers in all sorts of communities. And you'll find us at meetups, at conferences like this, hackathons, uh, just really kind of engaging with the developer and technolo technical community. And we also do some stuff for students as well. So you may find us at universities running hacks. Um, so there's a plenty of opportunities to kind of meet the team and engage with us and give us your feedback. But also we'd just love to hear like what you're building, what you're doing, um, what technology is cool. Um, can we help? Are you an open source contributor or maintainer? Can we help contribute towards that product? project as well so there's a whole bunch of stuff where you can kind of engage with this team uh, anywhere around the world on a technical front. Uh, that, sound, that sounds really awesome, sounds really good, it's so refreshing to hear that because you know you're at the forefront um, of that and it's just, it's just brilliant. I think other companies are starting to follow suit but not in the same way that, that Microsoft is. So that's uh, really great to hear. So if someone wanted to get into open source and they wanted to contribute to some of the Microsoft products because lots of them are open source now, uh, what would you recommend? So there's tons of stuff that Microsoft got open source and um, there's, there's a whole website that lists all of the stuff we do for open source and we have in GitHub of course, everything's in GitHub. But one thing that I think if you're new to open source, a really kind of safe or friendly way to get involved is our documentation. So docs.microsoft.com is completely open source. So you can find all of the documentation on GitHub. You can actually within docs.microsoft.com if you're reading a Microsoft doc and you think something isn't quite right and you want to change it we've got the github integration at the bottom so you can raise an issue right there and raise an issue against that kind of that github repo but also on top of that you can then actually go to the github repo and if you're feeling confident enough raise a pull request and actually update the documentation and so it's a really nice friendly easy way to get involved with open source and contribute back even if you're not confident, raise the PR anyway, and then they'll they'll let you know what you've done wrong, and um, you'll know for next time. It's great. I raised my first PR for Microsoft uh, Project on your recommendation for TypeScript for Hacktoberfest um, last month, and uh, within like 12 hours, some reply said so thank you very much, and it got merged. I mean, I was so impressed how quickly it was because nothing worse waiting like 24, not more than 24, like a week, and you, you kind of forget about it. And so it was really impressive. They were really quick.
So my name is Mo Hussein. Uh, my startup is an automation testing framework, um, uh, an SaaS platform at that. And uh, what we have done um, at this exhibit, we've exhibited our platform for the first time uh, to the public. And we have been using it with our existing clients uh, privately uh, on their own secure networks. But now for the first time, we've uh, you know opened up to the public to get the feedback and get their reaction. That's great, that's awesome to hear. So you're going to go from strength to strength. And uh, what would you say about Alpha as general? Would you recommend other startups give it a go? Mm -hmm. um, I did, I did Alpha on another uh, idea a couple of years ago. Uh, what I would recommend for Alpha, whoever's trying to uh, suss out if they want to do Alpha or not, the first recommendation would be if you uh, have a product, have an idea, it would be good to kind of come up with a prototype, uh, come up with some kind of functional uh, thing, come and uh, test the market. Uh, talk to your uh, and, and clients. This is a good platform to be able to talk one to one to companies, individuals, uh, potential users, partners, all kind of uh, relevant and uh, you know direct or indirect uh, people, potential clients that you may have. So it's a good opportunity to suss out if you're on the right track. Um, second recommendation I have is if you have gone past that, uh, then make sure when you're coming for the Alpha exhibit here, uh, you're getting as many people invited to your stand because it's just one day uh, to come and get you the feedback that you're looking for whether it's to confirm your uh, pricing model if it's something that they enjoy whether it's confirmation on functionality whether it's about direction where you want to take the product next I would say Alpha is great for that and that's what we've tried to focus on and achieve on this particular uh, web summit this year awesome thank you very much you're uh, it's been actually really Really great adventure. It's been quite hard to be consistent, definitely. Yeah. Uh, with a day job and a startup, it's, it's, it's been really hard. But the, what I love is the community is so supportive, right? You saw the t shirt, you came and said hi. Um, other events, people have said come and said hi as well, and that's been brilliant. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's been, uh, been so much fun. So, you know, I really appreciate other YouTubers coming to say hi, and everyone wants to share their experiences and, and, and what they've learned. And I think, that's, uh, I think that's really good. That's what I love. It reminds me of the the open source coding community. Everyone just wants to share and learn and be friends and I think that's just awesome. I'm here with Niall, we're at uh, Web Summit and he spotted my t-shirt and he came to say hey, he's another YouTuber. So uh, Niall, tell us about your YouTube channel and why you're at Web Summit. So I've been doing YouTube now for nearly four years. I started when I was 15 doing fitness vlogs. So I'd record my fitness workouts and then do remixes and then put them on YouTube for the people to see. Um, I started because I felt like there was a gap in the space that I could go into that was really simply and then I just started to see what would kind of happen from that. Um, and I, I've carried on, now I'm going into, I want to kind of change my audience a bit into people who are more interested in business and self-development because my, what I'm interested in has changed over the years, developing as a person. So I want to bring my audience along with me on that. Um, and I'm here at Web Summit today with a company that I intern for who are trying to change the space in youth community building. Um, so we're creating a platform that brings together best practice and shares loads of ideas. That's essentially what it is in short. What advice would you give to small YouTubers? If you become self-aware of who you are as a person, regardless, like, taking away YouTube, I think if you become self-aware as a person and understand what you really want to do and who, who you are and you'll learn not to care about other people's opinions. I think that in itself then you'll be, obs if, if YouTube is something you really want to do, you'll become obsessed with doing it and like being really confident and not caring about what other people think when you're holding around a big camera and it's really hard to do in public. That's one of the biggest struggles I had. Um, but I think learning not to care about other people's opinions and being your own person. C -sharp. C Sharp, what is that? No, I'm just joking. So, C Sharp, I understand now, is actually open source. Yes, we got Roslyn finally. To be honest, every time I take a, a Mac or a Linux, I just write Python. So, what are your thoughts on Web Summit? How have your last two days and or three days been? Uh, I have been exhausted. Uh, I just walk around, see all the startups. I met you there. True. Uh, in your awesome startup, thank you. And um, and I just met some really nice people over here. Um, networking is great. Uh, I just get along with everyone, and uh, I don't know. 
Tell me, what have you been your experience right now? It's been great. I haven't seen as many startups as you have. I think it was great that every day you went to the startups to see what's happening. I think that's really, really exciting. Um, I accidentally, uh, a startup came to see us at our stand and they were like, I don't know, our neighbor, like five down and um, they were open source as well. And I was like, that's awesome because most startups aren't. And I thought it was just great. I wish I went round to see which the startups were, more, more of them, which ones were open source. Uh, it's now the end of our of Dashboard Hub exhibiting at Web Summit on the Alpha Day. It's been a great day. As you can see, we're all quite uh, quite tired, but it's been exhilarating. And uh, we met so many amazing people, got so much great feedback. Mm. It's been brilliant. But uh, let's hear from the, uh, the rest of the team. Well, I loved it because it was an opportunity for me to pitch through education marketing a solution that will help developers. So I really enjoyed that actually trying to get my head around how that I convey that. Um, and really enjoyed the conversations with people wanting to discover what the solution is, but then obviously opened up where they are in their world. It was great, it was great. I, um, I got to see that will have from a techie's point of view and a non-techie's point of view. I've got to see many, many people. I got to teach a student about continuous integration and pipelines. I actually made him sit in a seat and I was like, I'm going to teach you. You're not leaving until you understood. Now he'll remember Dashboard Hub. Yeah. Fantastic. I even told him about GitHub. He's like, what is GitHub? And I was like, oh, we need take a talk. sit. Take like, a you seat. are not leaving. That's awesome. Yeah. And I also got my photo taken. I got a selfie with the Prime Minister, Antonio Costa uh, yeah. of Portugal. That made my day. That was amazing. Really nice guy. Really polite. He really took the time to chat to me. Um, I should have stayed a bit longer, um, but I felt bad because there was a queue of people behind me. And I, I was really happy I got my picture with him, so I kind of keen for everyone to do it. But next year, I'll, I'll chat to him definitely for a bit longer, and hopefully he'll remember me. Probably not, but maybe. I would like to thank Shenga, by Breen and Tanya. Without them, I could not have achieved a really good alpha day and got all the great feedback and great networking that, that we achieved. So a big thank you to all of you. I'd like to thank the Web Summit organizers for organizing and choreographing such an amazing event. I've been to Web Summit last year and it was a brilliant event. It was very overwhelming with so much going on, but it was excellent. This year as an alpha, it was more overwhelming because our first day at Web Summit was full. We were talking to so many people, but it was definitely well worth it. It was it was brilliant. And then the follow-up days afterwards, networking with people we had met, meeting new people, it was it was excellent. There's so much to do. Next day, next year, it'd be great if Web Summit was five days. I'll probably age 20 years, but it'd be worth it. One, two, it's coming for you. One, two, it's coming for you. Three, four, better luck your door. Five, six, rescue. Yeah. Go build. Microsoft, open source, do it. Yeah, let's do it. Contribute, open source, today. Don't nice. delay. I'm going to ask your brother about um, 